hello everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to this new video today i'm going to present a lesson of third year english program sequence to me and lifestyles the lesson is going to be an i learned to integrate lesson i'm going to uh, of course present the objective of the lesson uh, because as you may know the objective is um, a very important part of the lesson plan I'm going to um, show you the framework, it means what to do in each step, and I'm going to um, show you what to do uh, in each session, because as you may know, um, we cannot devote one session for a learn to integrate because it's a writing lesson, so we have to devote more than one session. Now it is flexible according to your pupil's level, according to your pupil's understanding, according to the time. So it depends on many factors. The most important thing is that this lesson takes more than one session and of course less than three sessions. So the framework of my lesson is PWP or PDP. It means it's like reading and uh, listening. But don't forget that this is a writing lesson. So it's going to um, follow the writing process. Uh, I am going to remind you what is a writing process. So the writing process uh, means uh, that your pupils are going to uh, go through steps. Pre-writing, then drafting, then revising, then editing, then publishing. Now, the objective of my lesson. Uh, by the end, my pupils will be able to ask and answer questions about the old lifestyle. And here, concerning the form of my writing, uh, it's going to be a dialogue, uh, more precisely an interview. And of course, you have to explain to your pupils what is an interview. Then, let's start with the first uh, thing we do uh, before we start the lesson of course we're going to relax the atmosphere and make our pupils feel at ease how can we do that it's through the warm-up so you're going to play a game with your pupils to uh, make your pupils feel at ease so the video of the warm-up uh, of the games okay related to the warm-up phase uh, is available on my channel gonna put the link in the box then we move to pre-writing uh, I remind you that this is a writing lesson it's like the framework is the same like reading and listening but um, pre-writing here it's a very important part which is part of the writing process so in this phase you're going to prepare your pupils for the writing phase you're going to make them deduce the topic of the writing how can you do that? You're going to maybe show them some flashcards of um, food, clothes, dwellings and games and you're going to divide the board into two parts and like past and present and you're going to ask pupils to put the pictures in the suitable part. It, just after that you might ask questions, interact, talk about the topic, um, taking notes, you make your pupils take notes, uh, brainstorm and brainstorming is very important, like you generate ideas. Um, outlining, your pupils need to outline, it means they're going to plan the interview, start, what to do after, uh, how to finish the interview and so on. And they're going to gather information. All these are important uh, in the pre-writing phase. Um, you have to uh, have a look at page uh, 75. Uh, here, you're going to revise with your pupils all the structures and lexes related to the topic. Uh, past simple tense, uh, questions with how long ago, the semi-model used to, um, uh, made in, made of. Um, I mean, all the, the structures they saw in the sequence because the lesson is called I learned to integrate. So they have to integrate all what was learned in uh, performing uh, an output, er writing a piece. Just after that, just after pre writing, uh, of course, you're going to uh, write the date on the board, your sequence two lesson, I learned to integrate, and you write part one. Uh, why? Because we still have part two and maybe part three. So you have to uh, precise that this is the first part of the lesson. 
Uh, then you are given to write the instruction on the board. Of course, your pupils have deduced the topic of the uh, of the interview or the topic of the writing in the pre-writing phase because they have generated IDs. Now we are given to write the instruction on the board, and of course you make your pupils write it on their copy books. The instruction has to be clear and has to be real. Here I do agree with some teachers when they say that. Um, most of the rewards we see uh, in the instructions generally because we always try to contextualize our instruction so we say that the best pupil is going to be rewarded the best piece is going to be posted on the school magazine but we don't have a school magazine and like no work is going to be posted on, on, on the school entry or whatever so we are going to try to make it real so I have decided to like um, because it's going to be a video interview so uh, for my case I can do it but just try to look for materials uh, to uh, be able to realize uh, realize and make this instruction or make this context real the video will be presented on data show to the school staff of course here we are free if you want to like um, choose an occasion for example like uh, Tuesday or, or Thursday uh, in the in the evening or they have like um, an afternoon, a free afternoon, or maybe uh, on the 16th of, uh, of April, why not? So you have to choose the right occasion to uh, share the work of, of your uh, pupils with the school staff. Or at least you can like uh, share uh, their work with uh, the teachers of English, why not? So you just have to uh, try to involve uh, your pupils in the context and make it real. So, as I said, your pupils are given to write the instruction on their copy books and you're going to explain the instruction. Then you're going to set groups. Here, I'm still in the pre-writing phase. You write the instruction, you explain it very well, you set groups here. Uh, for those who said that setting groups is impossible, uh, like uh, during this pandemic, anyways, you can uh, set group of two. A maximum and of course they have to respect the distance and you have to make them work in, in groups it's very important because it, this is like the difference between I learned to integrate and I think and write they have to work in groups they have to be collaborative um, you have to identify the duty of each member for example if we have a group of four we have to identify the duty of you're going to be the writer because you have a good handwriting you're going to be <coughs> the one who gives ideas because you know like you know you are very creative and you have like interest in ideas we're going to motivate your learners and make them active and of course you set time you don't have to forget this step which is very important you have to set time then now we are in the during writing phase it means that your pupils have started to write uh, you have to uh, explain to pupils that writing has steps like it involves steps they cannot just write like that and at the same time, you're going to like teach them how to write uh, following the writing process. First, they have to draft. Of course, you're going to teach this implicitly, indirectly. They have to draft. It means they have to create a rough copy of the writing. They're going to write ideas without ordering. Then, they're going to revise. It means they have to improve their writing. They try like different beginnings, different endings, add details and so on. Then they move to editing. They have to make sure that sentences are completed, that verbs are well conjugated, that um, like the words uh, involve correct spelling, uh, good punctuation, capitalization, and even the sentences have to make sense, of course. They have to check all this. And after that, of course, the last step of the writing process is publishing, but we cannot put publishing here because here we are still in the during writing process, your people are writing. And then in the post writing phase, you are going to add publishing. So in publishing, your people are going to maybe think of an interesting title of their like piece to like uh, introduce a good title. And then they have to share their work, to their work with their classmates. So when they finish, they like go to the board, since it's an interview, they have to go to the board and read their work to their classmates, like they perform the dialogue. And of course, the teacher here is going to give general remarks. She's not going to like be 
like very she's not going to focus on accuracy on no she's going to give general remarks means but the remarks that are really noticeable and then she's going to leave the other remarks the spelling mistakes grammar and so on and so forth she's going to leave this after the first hour or the first session is over for i learned to integrate then you're going to take the papers and try to identify the mistakes and put symbols on the papers. We're going to take the papers at home. I'm going to show you uh, a paper of my uh, pupil. So I just have scanned the paper and uh, put some correction symbols uh, related to the mistakes. And as you may notice here, we don't have the date. Uh, we don't have the names of your pupils. So you just have to scan the paper and give like as much as remarks as possible make your pupils um, bear in mind that writing involves a lot of aspects not just writing like the topic writing about the topic you have to like organize your paper write the date write the, the lesson uh, write why not the instruction uh, write the names the class then you're going to in the second hour which means after putting the correction symbols these are the symbols of uh, the correction symbols and um, you have to uh, just underline the mistake and put the correction symbol. Of course, your pupils have to get used to these correction symbols because they need it in the second hour. So in the second hour, I'm going to submit the papers. But this time, for example, we have, for example, we have five groups. I'm going to submit the paper of group one to group two and the paper of group two to group one. And the paper of group three, three to uh, group four and so on uh, so that they correct the mistakes and try to give a mark they have to they see the correction symbol they're going to look for it because they have already uh, written the correction symbols uh, uh, on the last page of their copy books they're going to check what is the nature of the mistake and they try to correct it and believe me it's a very important step um, this way they're going to I ask them to give remarks and marks to be like to make things fun. This way, your pupils are going to recognize their mistakes. They're going to learn uh, to correct each other. That's what we call peer correction and learn to be responsible. And I may like guide in this phase. I may just guide, try to not intervene. I'm just very passive because your pupils are going to rely on themselves. And believe me, some pupils are going to recognize their mistakes through the mistakes of their classmates. Of course, we have common uh, mistakes. They are going to see and notice that the mistakes committed by their classmates are committed by themselves. That's why this phase is very important. I'm going to ask, of course, each member, for example, group of four, you have only one paper. So I'm going to ask each member to make photocopy of the work and stick where they have written a uh, sequence to lesson I learned to integrate part one instruction, they have to stick the paper on this page. Then I'm going to, in the second hour, I'm going to present activities to my pupils. Um, activities uh, which are related to the mistakes uh, made by my pupils like activities in which I'm going to introduce the common mistakes. Uh, spotting the mistakes, putting the verb in the right form, why not activity of punctuation and even dictation. Believe me, dictation is very useful. I did it with my pupils recently. That was very effective. And I just saw uh, pieces of dictation which were like very, very good because they have like made efforts to write their interview and they have um, corrected the interview of their classmates so they have like remembered all the words so I, I, I made dictation and it was really successful then if you still have time of course after you make them like uh, correct each other and then you present activities if you still have time, or I prefer to do it in the third hour, because since you have 45 minutes, in the third hour, in the third session, the teacher is going to write the final version. Of course, you're going to take ideas from the work of your pupils, like try to rely on their work, trying to make them collaborate to, to, to write the interview together. 
Okay, so in the second hour, they're going to write, I learned to integrate part two. And they write the activities. And here in this phase of uh, when you write the final version, you're going to ask your pupils to take a new page, write the date and lesson I learned to integrate part three. Since I know that you have 45 minutes, so it's not enough. So you just have to uh, do the lesson into three parts. And something very important, you ask your pupils to memorize uh, the final version. It's very important, this step of memorization, because it's going to be uh, like fruitful and successful. And of course, ACE is very important. You're going to enhance their speaking skill. You're going to enhance their listening skill. You're going to enhance their reading skill, because before they memorize, they're going to read. And it tackles many skills. And of course, you're going to, it's going to be helpful for the exam. That's all, my dear followers. I hope it was useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.